The i20 has always been the main source of income for Hyundai. Over the years, if you're looking to buy a Baleno or a Polo or a Swift, you would always cheekily glance over at Hyundai to see what the i20 is doing, whether you like it or not. Hyundai has found that special sauce for the Indian market, which helps them control and sell loads of cars over the years. Cram in a bunch of features, give it loads of space, decent amount of mileage and inexpensive maintenance, and you can manipulate the auto industry just like Harshad Mehta did to the stock market. But Hyundai has given us, the auto enthusiast, hope that the new 2020 i20 is not only for the average Indian family, but also for an aspiring auto enthusiast. The new i20 comes with an all new platform from Hyundai. It's called the third generation K platform and they've used a lot of high strength steel and other rigid materials in it. But somehow Hyundai has worked their magic and they've reduced 100 kilograms compared to the older i20 and the chassis plays a big part in that. And all of this can be felt when you're driving the car. The suspension is super supple and it irons out the bumps in the road very, very beautifully. But yet, when you put it around a corner, it doesn't fall apart like other cars. All of this comes down to the Hyundai's chassis, which is super rigid. Even if the suspension is quite soft and is very comfortable to ride around in, the chassis is very stiff. That gives it the cornering balance it needs. Yes, the i20 might not handle as well as like a Volkswagen Polo or something, but as a Hyundai, it is a very impressive vehicle. Ever since Hyundai have started rigorously using their end performance brand as one of their key marketing strategies, their cars have been getting better and better. They are also making cars for petrol junkies and surprisingly there are a range of Hyundais in India which can fulfill your thrill for driving. Hyundai's turbo variants which have the 1 liter turbo truly have been regarded as some of the fastest vehicles in their segment. And the best part is they can be opted in either a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed DCT in some cases. Same goes for the i20. You can opt for a 1-litre turbo and it's a zippy little thing. Might not be as sonorous as a 4-cylinder engine, but when it comes to raw power, it really does pull like a much, much larger motor. Well, this isn't actually the 1-litre turbo that we petrolhead junkies crave for. This is actually the 1.5 diesel. And the impressive thing about this motor is that Hyundai have kept this motor BS6 compliant. Whereas most manufacturers are letting go of diesels because of the regulations, this is actually a BS6 compliant motor. And the power figures are also very impressive. It makes 100 bhp which is quite modest but the torque figure is out of the roof for something like this 240 newton meters of torque out of this small little motor quite impressive when it comes to the looks well hyundai have surely put some hot sauce in the mix the last generation i20 was a total mess in my opinion hyundai tried very hard to make it look unique but failed miserably and we got this weird yet quite regular looking car somehow Well, when it comes to this one, it surely does look sleeker and more meaner at the front. You can see the clear Audi inspiration that Hyundai have gotten with this big gaping front grille. And it has like a mesh kind of pattern in between to make it look pointy and angry. Even the headlamps are pointy and angry and they have this brand new DRL strip over here. You get these triangular air ducts over here and the cool part about it is they're actually not fake. You have small slits over here and they open up over here in the wheel well to reduce turbulence in the wheel well. And overall the front end looks very pointy, very angry and it's a very handsome front end. But over the years like Hyundai's tend to, I don't see longevity in this design but nonetheless for now it looks very nice. The back end is very interesting for me because it's like all of the designers involved in the new i20 project came up with a design idea, sent it to the head designer and the head designer literally approved all of them. You have these funky looking Z style tail lights over here at the back. You get a fake diffuser, uh, pretty common practice nowadays. And 
both of the tail lights come and join in between to give this continuous running strip of chrome and red and they've given a little bit of a black accent over here and overall it's not a bad looking back end but it looks like something that a 13 year old has designed and i absolutely love it the interior is probably the one place where the i20 falls a little bit short for me as glamorous and as high tech and as advanced the outside looks the interior is quite subtle and that's not a bad thing in some cases but considering the fact that this is a hyundai and they go for funky things this does not look that crazy i mean you have these streaks over here on the dashboard and the door panels look quite crazy with the bose uh, surround speakers but overall it's a quite sedate design but the quality and the finish is quite good there are a few things which i absolutely love in this interior which are the airline style uh, aircon features over here the steering wheel is straight out of a creta so you get this four spoke kind of looking steering wheel not my favorite design but the instrument cluster is actually quite impressive whereas in the verna they've given like a negative digital display for the tachometer and speedometer this is a proper screen so everything that you look at is crisp and sharp it looks very nice and it looks like a bmw instrument cluster because of the anti clockwise tachometer that it has and you have loads of information you have a tire pressure monitor you have how many doors are open you have your kmpl fuel economy ratings and everything like that in there tons of information and this infotainment unit is straight out of a hyundai creta or a kia seltos however you look at it loads of features in it you have a very good navigation system which is inbuilt in it uh, you have apple carplay android auto and all of those basic features that you get nowadays the display itself is quite crisp quite bright to look at uh, there is no lag which you used to find in the older hyundai uh, infotainment systems and overall it's a very good infotainment system but it looks a little bit tacky when it's stuck on over here like this probably they could have done a design where it was a little bit more in the dashboard rather than just stuck on it this is the top end model the sxo variant so you get a sunroof over here and you also get an air purifier which is a cool little touch in these pandemic times it also gets a wireless charging station in this center console the seats in this variant are made out of fabric and are very comfortable and grip you perfectly when going around bends overall the cabin is quite spacious and rear passenger space is also very good the boot however is a little bit disappointing it gets a mere 285 liters of boot space which you usually don't even find in cars a segment below this The i20 has always been the go-to car for the modern Indian I would like to say because the people who have been in India for quite a while like your dad or your mom or someone elder than that they always knew that Maruti Suzuki was the way to go if you wanted a reliable and car which has decent amount of features but the newer generation they know that Hyundai is the place to go if you want features mileage and a few other things inside the car but they've captured another market with this new i20 it drives pretty well and that's very astonishing for an i20 because the i20s have always been something which are quite boring to drive but this one is not boring at all to drive it's actually quite fun and i can't imagine how nice the i20 turbo and by god by any chance the i20 n line or n come to india how insane they would be to drive so they've captured the auto enthusiasts as well with this brand new i20 and that's a big win for the indian car community thank you so much for watching this video a big shout out to garve hyundai for giving us this vehicle uh, the i20 is a great car in my opinion and if you're in the market to buy a hyundai i20 check out garve hyundai uh, check out our instagram as well check out our website where we post a lot of articles uh, check out our twitter where we put a lot of memes and other things i'm somsaraf and i'll see you in the next one